Hey guys, how are you? I'm just going to show you real quick how to package up a board game. Sometimes, you know, you'll have a board game and you'll be wondering like, oh my god, how am I going to shift this carefully? Because, you know, you want to make sure that you do it cheap, but you want to make sure that you do it right. And, uh, you know, I've gotten some items before from people and they just ship it in nothing more than like a brown paper bag to save on shipping. And I mean, if you're trying to save on shipping, that's, uh, that's unethical, you know. You really shouldn't be doing that. But if you think that that's how it's supposed to be shipped because it's, it, you know, it doesn't need the extra padding, well, then you're mistaken. And uh, that's okay if you don't know better. I mean, it's not okay, but, uh, you know, that's why I'm making this video. So, um, the way I ship my board games, generally speaking, I buy them to resell. And if I'm going to be shipping out a board game, generally speaking, I don't want to buy it unless it's in pretty light. It's got to be pretty light. It can't be real heavy. Uh, because then you're not really going to be able to ship it priority mail or it's going to cost a lot to do so. So I just use these boxes. This is a uh, priority mail box. You get these for free. You know, a box of this size, if you were to go buy it for, you know, at a box place, it'd be like 50 cents maybe if you got it in bulk a little cheaper. So you're getting the free box right off the bat. It's going there priority, which means it's going to be quicker to the, to the uh, recipient. And, uh... You know, it's a nice sturdy box. It's pretty good. So, first off, what I do is I wrap it up in bubble wrap. Just, you know, make sure it's padded. Uh, you can get bubble wrap for free if you look around. Just go to any businesses that, you know, would have a lot of, a lot of uh, packing materials. They get a lot of stuff. Try, like, uh, car dealerships. They have some pretty good stuff sometimes. And they're just throwing it away, you know. They pay to get rid of it, so they're happy if someone's going to reuse it. So, yeah, I mean, I wrap it up, put it in here, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, this, this could take some abuse, you know. It can't take any abuse if you just put a paper bag over it. And most of, the, most of the games that I get, they could fit inside one of these. But there's actually a few different sizes of these boxes. You can get, I think it's two or three different sizes. So, you know, you can make it work. Uh, but, but the other thing is, sometimes you get a box that you know, you'll get a game that is a little bit bigger. You can actually combine these together. So, you know, you could fit pretty much anything as long as it's not uh, too wide for this. So, I mean, this, like, this is a, an example of one, you know, this this might fit, but I'm prob I'd probably have to use two boxes. I might actually be able to fit one in one of the bigger boxes, but uh, that's okay. So, this is good to go. Uh, you know, just close it up. Uh, the only other alternative that you can do, if you don't have any bubble wrap and you're in a pinch, you can use my friend here, the beef flute. You know, just wrap this up. You know, maybe it's if it's like too tight of a fit in the box, you don't have enough space, maybe you don't want to use the bubble wrap, you can just use this beef flute. You know, wrap it up like this. And alternatively, if you're real cheap or, you know, you're just trying to recycle some stuff, you could even use another box inside of it. You know, you can just you can just wrap it up uh, just like this. Uh, just, you know, take apart a box and just wrap it around. And, uh, you know, might not look as professional, though. So th those are things that you have to weigh in your mind when you're thinking about shipping it out. Well, hopefully this, uh, hopefully this video came in handy for someone. I know that I had some questions before about how I ship, bo how I ship uh, board games and stuff. So, you know, I hope this came in handy for you. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with someone. Thanks for watching.